Good morning, Mr. Chairman and everyone. Uh, good morning and, and to the chairman of the full committee. I just want to say on behalf of the Republicans that we too support clean energy, but it uh, doesn't just mean wind and solar. It's hydro, it's nuclear, it's natural gas. America's leading the way on all kinds of clean energy uh, sources. But it's great to be with all of you today. Making sure people have access to affordable, reliable energy must remain a priority of this committee's work on energy. Americans have led the world in lifting people out of poverty, raising the standard of living. And we must recognize the tremendous value of our existing energy system. It's central for expanding economic growth and spreading opportunity. The evidence is in plain sight. The shale revolution has brought tremendous opportunities in American energy renaissance. It has revitalized communities with hundreds of billions of dollars in economic activity, thousands of new jobs. It's meant the equivalent of, a, of about $2,500 extra in the average family's annual budget with low income households benefiting the most from reduced energy burdens. It's raised the promise of a better quality of life for families along the Ohio River Valley in Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. It's increased opportunity through Texas, New Mexico, and from Wyoming to California, helping people of all incomes. To continue to address energy poverty and climate risk, Republicans seek to build on these current achievements in energy and economic opportunity. We also want to keep electricity rates low. I've noted in several recent hearings, the Department of Energy data on energy poverty and how new regulatory regimes will raise electricity rates and stretch the family's budget, budget's last dollar. Instead, we should focus on innovative energy technologies that will reduce emissions while using all of our resources, including hydro, natural gas, nuclear, as outlined by the ENC Republicans securing cleaner American energy in, uh, agenda. Many of the securing cleaner American energy bills are included in the energy innovation agenda launched this week by House Republicans. We are committed. The energy innovation agenda focuses on innovation, clean energy, conservation policies for tackling climate change risk building energy infrastructure and developing new technologies. Because to win the future, we should be about building, not dismantling American opportunity. Unfortunately, dismantling is a feature of the Clean Future Act and the administration's job crushing agenda. The rush to green undermines many of the goals we all share to address energy poverty. For example, the Clean Future Act will restrict permitting of the kind of projects that provide good jobs and raise community prosperity. They would restrict natural gas development and supply for jobs, lower energy rates, and even the expansion of renewable energy. Provisions in the Clean Future Act would force top-down federal requirements on state regulation of hydraulic fracturing, dismantling the proven innovation and, and this approach that's helped drive the shale revolution. Two witnesses this morning, Jose Perez of Hispanics in Energy and Louise Carter King, mayor of Gillette, Wyoming, will talk about the trillions of dollars of new economic opportunity in the oil and gas development and how this American resource fits into a cleaner energy future that benefits everyone. The pace of transformation in the majority bills makes no time for the practical reality of ensuring the lights stay on when people need it most. California is a case study for what can go wrong. Its unrealistic policies have driven the growth of weather dependent, unreliable solar and wind and shuttered natural gas, nuclear and other traditional generators while all the time driving up electricity rates. California's policies have dismantled large amounts of baseload and, and generation when the wind isn't blowing and the sun isn't shining. A review of the, of the National Regulatory Re Research Institute shows California's dreams have created a, a huge gap in reliable, affordable energy. When the sun goes down and the energy demand goes up, all those homes that enjoyed inexpensive po power during the day, uh, now the grid has a huge spike in demand. We see this happen every summer. 
my friends in California are having to buy generators. This, this is resulting in uh, unreliable, inexpensive energy. I'm proud of the work of this committee. America is energy independent. It was a goal that we had for decades. We're leading the way in bringing down carbon emissions. Let's not, let's avoid the California experiment and make sure that America continues to lead with affordable and reliable energy. And with that, I'll yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.